Okay. Kahala la Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Racha Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles of Great Millstone who rule well, and salutations unto you brothers and you few sisters that take heed. Today's lesson is coming off of uh, Proverbs 22, verse 6. Uh, this uh, scripture was brought out on the highways this past weekend, and uh, the Spirit got into it, so uh, I kind of wanted to uh, touch upon it a little bit more. So this is Proverbs 22, uh, and verse 6. It says, Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Right? And um, basically... You know, um, this is how an, an Israelite child, I should say, uh, uh, this is how you should deal with Israelite Israelite child, man, Israelite Israelite children, is is training them, right? Because at the end of the day, your child is still being trained, whether you like it or not, all right, from the from the age of 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 uh, of uh, infants infancy, right? You have so, some children. Most children go to daycare, some stay at home. But of course, we have, you know, JK, uh, 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 grade one, you know, all the way up. And that's the training center, so to speak, man. That's where they're training your child, man. They're training them. They're, 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 uh, um, they're inserting behavioral uh, uh, tendencies, um, thinking capacities. You know, they're, they're telling them which way to go, basically. And, um, interesting point i wanted to bring out this word now in school you have teachers but another word for teacher is a is a pedagogue or pedagogue all right which is spelled p-e-d-a-g-o-g-u-e -E. all right i have it on my computer i'm going to read it this is a noun late 14th century schoolmaster teacher from old french pedagogue teacher of children from latin uh, directly from Greek, meaning a uh, slave who escorts boys to school and generally supervises them, later a teacher. From Pi, meaning child, Agogos, meaning leader. From Agin, meaning to lead. See? So basically, your children are looking, your children have leaders, man, which is these damn, uh, starting from the teachers. Right, and then they have their so-called icons and all this shit that that they're taught. But the main point is you should train up. If if you brothers have, of course, children to the best of your ability, man. If you're in a if you're in that situation, of course, man. Think about training your child in multiple facets, man. In this word, in a skill, you know, something you may know and you can pass down to them. Because in the ancient world, we knew things, man. We knew how to build things, how to how to be artificers, man. You know. If you don't look, if you don't know what that word is, look it up. It's in the scriptures. Uh, uh, the Lord had many artificers, man. Matter of fact, I'm gonna, for 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 edification's sake, I'll look it up. But we we had many many great talents and many great minds. All right. Um, uh, in the ancient world, man, that 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 created things of the most highest liking. Okay. Um, I got this scripture here. This is Second Chronicles. 34 and also go straight to the point and 11 even to the artificers and builders gave the hit to buy hewn stone and timber for couplings and to floor the houses which the kings of judah had destroyed now when you look up this word artificer it's in the hebrew the hebrew word is charash all right charash which means craftsman art artisan engraver right um, a fabricator or any material, artificer, carpenter, craftsman, engraver, engraver, maker, mason, skillful smith, worker, workman, right? So these are men that can work or rot things with their hands, man. Bring forth creations with their hands through the inspiration and 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 spirit and and power of, of Yahweh Bashem Yoshai, right? These are not just uh, regular today uh, construction worker no man these are men that had swagger man they, they would make custom things man you know to, to to their liking or to the client's liking a carpenter a craftsman engraver a maker a mason right a smith what does a smith do he, he he makes weapons he makes all kinds of things man bucklers shields uh 
uh, worker, right? Mason, which is a brick, brick, a uh, bricklayer, right? Bricklaying, which is hard ass work, man. All right, but uh, again, going back to train, right? In uh, the book of Proverbs, I have the word in the blue letter. One second. Right, in the blue letter. Now, when you look up this word, uh, train. Yeah, so the word train is chanak. Right, chanak, which means to train, dedicate. They have the word inaugurate, which means the word inauguration goes back to witchcraft. Which that's not what it means. Uh, to train, train up, to dedicate down here in the Jesenius's uh, Hebrew Child uh, Lexicon. Selakia. Down here. Or Selakia, not here. Strong's definition right here. Selakia. It says, figuratively, to initiate or discipline, dedicate, train up. Right? Now, a point was made. The brother made uh, on the highways of Howard. Uh, just like Mayweather, man. Mayweather, his whole thing is what? Hard work, dedication. And he always says, I dedicated myself to my craft, which is boxing. And he damn sure did. Right? Now, um, again, you brothers have to look at it like this way. You, you got to dedicate yourself to your craft. Right? Now, let's look up this word craft. Right? Just for, uh, uh, again, edification's sake. The word craft... Um, is a noun it's like an old english old english going back to power physical strength might now if you look up the word yeah down here it says sense expanded in only in old english to include skill dexterity art science talent right and we get these things from what? The Lord, man. And we have to work upon them because we're in the flesh. If we were in the spirit, things would just come, man. But we're in the flesh, so we got to work towards it. Right? If you look up craft as a verb, it means Old English, meaning to exercise a craft to build. Right? Meaning to make skillfully. So again, when you're watching a boxer, you're, you're watching a man of skill and motion. He's doing things you can't do. No matter how much you try to punch like him and, and imitate and emulate and, and, and huff and puff. This man has trained his, his cardiovascular system, his conditioning, right? And and most of all, his nervous system to be in link with uh, with uh, with his body, man. You know, and his coordination, right? His eye-hand coordination, uh, endurance, all these things, man. Many, many, many factors. So, again, going back to us in, the, in this word. And really, you, should, you can apply this to brothers coming in as babes. And, and we are children when we first come in. So, we have to train up. And the apostles and elders, they train us up, but we got to give ourselves training as well. Just like when you go to school, um, like in a university or college, for example, they give you, they have in-class assignments, they might have homework, you know, and they might have uh, a other private uh, training for you, you know, or or if you if you take a, like, a, like I took an online diploma course a, a few months back, for uh, personal training and uh, they have uh, your regular course notes but in the course notes they'll have in in in, uh, in brackets or parentheses um uh see your uh, your course uh, uh manual and it's like an extra thing that you can if you want deeper information it's not it's not going to be in the final exam but if you want extra information and depth information you can go look it up and as a good student a good pupil a good disciple you should look it up so same thing with the apostles. Sometimes you hear the apostles say, you know what, this means so and so. I'm not gonna or 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 they'll say uh uh um slacky, they'll say they'll bring out a word or or a term or or a topic even, right? A historical topic, and they'll say, you know what, you, you brothers go look it up, man. Or look up that word if you don't know what it means. They might not tell you right away. So you you as a good student, a good pupil, you go look it up, man. You go find. Matter of fact, um there's a good scripture in the apocrypha. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, Sirach 6, 
and and 34 it says stand in the multitude of the elders and cleave unto him that is wise see so it's very good for a brother to to be linked up with 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 elders and, and apostles when when they come in because you're 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 getting this information man you're getting the milk you're getting it at rapid fire right but at the same time they're, they're you know for uh for for knowledge sake for you brothers that are hearing this whoever's hearing this when you there's going to come a time when the most High might pull you away and test you now okay he gave you some some milk to suck on right as it's as it pertains to as a uh 29 or 28 right he gave you some milk some nourishment okay now let's see can you apply this can you apply it man because you can't just get it right the book of proverbs 4 and 7 says uh a matter of fact i can't fully remember so i'm gonna I'm gonna look it up. It's like you don't got. Yeah, this one, Proverbs. F uh, let's see, it's chapter four and verse seven. It says, "Wisdom is the principal thing, right?" Of course, this is the, this is what we're seeking after, man. This is what we want in the world, right? Pertaining to Romans about uh, Israel having a zeal, but not according to knowledge, man. Zeal is where you get the word hot from. Right to be on fire, and in, in in the world we are searching for many things, man. We're searching for that ultimate answer. What is this life about? You know, what what are we supposed to do? Who are we? Why are we in this messed up condition? So wisdom is the is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, which we we got wisdom again through the apostles and elders, man, through the spirit of Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahushai, Ba'ashem Rachakudash. Right, we got the wisdom, and with all that getting, get understanding. Now, how do you get understanding through experience? And the word experience means to try out. So guess what? The Lord tries you out, man. Okay, you got you got this breakdown. You, you got this. You know, you might get puffed up a little, which is no fault of your own, really. You know, you got to tame that shit. But I'm talking about when you first come in the truth. Knowledge does puff you up, man. I'm not going to cut any corners. Knowledge puffs you up. Oh, man, look, it feels great, man. It's a great feeling, but you can't, you know, let it, you can't get beside yourself. You can't let it overcome you. So then the Lord says, okay, now let's test you, man. Let's test you. Let's test your faith. Let's see where your faith lies. You say you're, you're an Israelite, you're about this. Okay, now let's take something away from you. You know, your woman or your, or something, whatever, whatever it is. Right? Um... So now back to Sirach 3, it's like a 6 and 35. It says, be willing to hear every godly discourse, see? Which is a, a, a rebukement, right? Or, or, or admonishment. Advice. Man, when the apostles give advice, you better have a ten of years, man. Because they've been there. And they're showing you the, 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 the route. They're mapping it out for you, so to speak. And let not the parables of understanding escape thee, Right? And if thou seest the man of understanding, get thee betimes unto him. Meaning before, meaning get there quick first, man. Be there, be there first. And let thy foot wear the steps of his door. Right? So be occupied with that man. You know, count it a blessing that the mo the most high put 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 a man like that so you can just get get this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man. In the world. You know what many entrepreneurs and successful billionaires that they 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 are so grateful for, man. They 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 tell they tell people I'm so blessed that I had this in my early years. Mentors. Mentors, man. Okay? Mentors and advisors that took them under their wing. They, they some people um tell you that they have two or three or four mentors in their in their late teens, early twenties. That completely shaped the way that they think and move and 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 made them who they are today and a successful uh, uh, you know entrepreneur or businessman whatever they are mentors man so in this word the Most High has blessed us with elders and teachers and apostles man so it'd be best to to to, to hear what they have to say right it says verse thirty seven let thy mind be upon the ordinances of the Lord and meditate continually in His commandments see. He shall establish thine heart, meaning mind, and give thee wisdom at thine own desire. See? And he shall establish thine mind, man. See? So some brothers are iffy. I don't know if this or that. Well, you know, you you, you got to pray to the Lord or the Lord might not be dealing with you, man. 
Because when you when you from when you hear this thing, this thing is supposed to be like super glue. You know, like they, they got that gorilla glue in the in the store. This shit is supposed to stick to you like super glue and and and, and you're supposed to not make this thing escape from you, man. You know, I I can, I can remember when I first seen this. This was from from the sun coming up to sun going down. I had my notepad. I was thinking about this. I said, "What else can I learn? What what else? Because these are secrets, man. These are not easy things to understand." Okay, so that was really it. I wanted to bring out again hard work, dedication, man, brothers. You know, don't take it for granted that you know these things, and 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 and. You know, you gotta, you gotta uh, uh, make your own way. You gotta seek out your own salvation with fear and trembling. And 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 what does the scripture say about fear? That is the first step to be accepted of the Lord. The book of Ecclesiasticus. Okay. And and what is fear? Is keeping His commandments. So you gotta show. Okay. So with that, I want to say, Kal halaliyam la Yahweh ba'ashem Yahushai ba'ashem racha kodash. Double honors unto the apostles of Great Millstone who I learned the truth from, and salutations unto you brothers and your few sisters that do take heed. Until next time, I hope this was edifying. Shalom.